Hi Bone friends, in earlier video we learned how to patch the fixtures that we need to use in our show file. Now we are going to learn how to make pallets and use the pallets. So let's get started. Before we start, if you haven't seen the previous videos, we did about uh, basics of our lights, workspace windows and about patching, go and check them. I'll add the link in the description and in cards also. So, let's start making some color palettes first. Before I start, I'll add the capture visualizer. I'll place it here. And also I'll add the attribute editor. I'll make it smaller so I can see the position palettes also. So I'll save this workspace. So first what I will do is I'll select my LED pass RGBW and locate them. When, when we hit locate, the fixtures that we have selected comes to on state. We have already made some color palettes here. Palettes have added automatically when we're patching because we switched on to add the palettes automatically. So I'll select maybe uh, yellow. So you can see the fixtures turned yellow. And if I press light blue, blue and white, you can see it turns back to the same color. What I will do now, I will save some new color palettes in attribute editor. Uh, I'll hit the color mix. So I'll make a red palette. Okay. And what I can do is I can double tap on an empty slot. It gives the legend automatically the name for us to see and identify what palette is this. Uh, we can rename them by ourselves also like this. Set legend and hit, hit the palette you want and you can uh, name it. Also we can give halos. Uh, you can see I can give red or any color. See now it's this. It has a red hair. Let's add some few color palettes. I'll add blue. Double tap blue. So you can see now it's saving as GS. I'll show you what is this. So when I press one time, you can see here the type that the palette is saving. Global palette, shared palette and normal palette. So let's save this as a global palette. Save it as a global palette. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select only the first four LED pass hit locate them so you can see only this four got on I'm going to give them color green I'm going to save them as global palette okay and again I'm going to save the same palette as a normal palette okay now I'm going to clear and select my LED pass again and hit locate you can see if I press this global uh, shared palette and I press green, all fixtures got green. I'll locate them again and I'll select the normal palette. You can see only the fixtures that I have selected when I'm saving this palette is turned green. So if you want to save uh, color information for certain fixtures in a palette, what you have to do is select the fixtures that you need and make the color you want and save it as a normal palette. What I'll do now, I'll select only one fixture and hit locate. I'll save it uh, again yellow. I will share it as a global palette. Clear. Select all LED paths, locate. And, I, and when I press yellow all fixtures turn yellow because this palette saved as shared palette so there's another thing i have to show i locate the condoms and press this one so since this is global shared any rgb mix channel can be mapped to this palette so what i'll do now is i'll share this same thing yellow as shared palette now you will see if i locate my led pass i can't select this shared palette 
only I can use this global shape. Okay, now I'll select uh, my contours again. Locate. See, I can use all global shared palettes, but I can't use normal palette. This shared palette I saved for this contour, so I can use this. But this normal palette I saved for uh, my LED pass. Now let's move on to gobos and beams. Okay, before that I'll go move on to position palettes. You see, we can save position palettes like this. These are few position palettes that saved automatically. See top, bottom, left, right. Let's save some position palettes as we want. I have selected quantums, I'll hit locate. And in locate mode, I'll bring my uh, beams front. Okay. And when it is front, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fan it. Select fan. They got fanned. And I'm going to double tap here. So you can see this palette saved as normal palette because you know this features uh, the 10 beams that I have selected got separate DMX values, separate pan and tilt values. Let's try another one. I'll locate them and I'll just bring it up. Sorry, I have to turn off the pan. So I'll select the pictures. I'll just bring it them forward and save it. See, it shared as global palette. I'll save it again and as a shared palette also. Okay, now let's see. I have to locate. Now let's move on to gobos and beams. So I located all my contours again. And I'll bring them forward. You can see these are the auto generated palettes for gobos and beams for this quantum profile. The beam is now in open. You can see the gobos have saved. Not only gobos we can save, we can save uh, gobo rotation. Uh, strobe here you can see strobe fast strobe slow strobe open these are gobos also i'll show you something i learned when and when i'm learning by myself i don't know if you guys are doing in a different way if you are doing in a different way tell us share with us it will be valuable for all of us uh, so what i do is i locate some features and i give a gobo and I record that as a fixture mode onto a handle and keep it loaded. I'm going to select all my quantums again and I'm going to come to effects and put it to prism to rotation. I'm going to place it for the speed I want. Then I'm double tapping it. So you can see, so I'll place a prism open one also. So if you can see, if I now press this palette, the contours turn to prism and rotation automatically. And if I press this again, the prism stops. Same as like this, you can save gobo rotation, rotation speed separately. But remember, if you locate and add dimmer, add a, a gobo, select a gobo, then add the rotation speed and double tap, all the information that you have added to the programmer will be saved to your palette, your gobo and beam palettes. So if I only need to save gobo rotation uh, speed, what I can do is I can go here, select my contours. Already now it's, it is in the gobo. So what I'll do is I'll go to gobo and I'll put to gobo rotation and with the speed I want and double tap empty palette so you can see now the gobos still and when I press this start to spin again 
so now i ha i have to save a gobo rotate stop also so what i'll do is i selected the uh, my gobo uh, sorry i selected my contours and i'll go to gobo one rotate and no spin i'll double tap here i can rename gobo no spin gobo sorry gobo spin see now if i gobo spin or no spin in these palettes it's only included the gobo so what i did was i i switched on prism and switched on gobo spin now I, what I'm, ju i'm just doing is i'm changing my uh, gobo and while it going i can change my colors also so guys hope you learned something today don't forget to share your idea and if there's another way that you do and you make palettes please don't hesitate to share because it is valuable for all of us till we meet with new knowledge to share keep in touch and keep learning every day god bless you